In this video, I'm going to show you what these yonder cases are all about. It's a little bit different than my normal videos, but these things seem to be making an appearance at gigs, concerts and comedy shows. I came across this at a Chris Rock show which we recently attended on his recent tour of the UK. I was a bit cheeky and asked if I could keep mine so I could share my thoughts on YouTube. So, what is it? Well, fundamentally, it's a case that you slot your phone into during a gig so that you can't access your phone during a gig. Stops people recording, stops people taking photos, stops people looking at their phone when they should be looking at whatever's on the stage. Um, I understand that schools may be bringing these in as well for pupils, to put, for them to put their phones in when they're in class to stop them looking at them, maybe in exams as well. So, how does it work? When you get to the security check at the venue, you get allocated one of these pouches. They come in all different sizes. This one's a large. I've got a Samsung Galaxy S8 and this fitted in there no problem. They have got larger cases for maybe the iPhone Plus models where they're a little bit wider, but they won't seem to have a problem in finding a case that fits your phone. The security guy will ask you for your phone and he'll slot that in there. Now, I was a little apprehensive, thinking, oh, what if it scratches the screen? What if something happens to it? Now, this, the internals of this is so soft. It's like a little velvet material, as you can see. Your phone's not going to come to any harm in there. So, first of all, they ask you to turn your phone off or put it on silent, so it's not going to disturb the gig and you'll not be able to touch it. Then you just slide it in the case and it goes in there comfortably, like they said. They then shut this up, and that pin goes into that hole there, and it works very much like a security tag in the shop. As you can see, very similar sort of setup there. I'm not gonna do that, because I haven't got the right tool to undo it here. But once that is all closed up like that, they hand you it back, and you get to keep this throughout the gig. Obviously, you can't access your phone. If you do have to access your phone, and you just go outside of the phone free zone, which is usually in the lobby area or in the foyer. And they've got a device that you just tap this on, like so, thump, and then that will come free. Okay, works like the security tag system in a shop, like I said, and then um, as far as I can understand, it's some kind of strong magnet. It's pretty well protected, it's quite well padded, so if you were to drop your phone during the gig, your phone's not going to come to any harm at all. Then at the end of the gig or the show, you got on the exit, and this was on every exit out of the show, to be fair, had a lot of people there with the devices to unlock them. You just literally tap your phone onto the device and it opens up and hey presto, you've got your phone back. And you catch up on all your social media. If you did leave the venue with your phone still in there, maybe you forgot. And let me tell you, there was a lot of drunk people at that venue that night. And I'm pretty sure there's a few people woke up in the morning wondering how the heck they were going to use their phones. But I think if you did end up going home with this in your pocket and you didn't realise, it's only made of a soft like neoprene material. So any normal pair of kitchen scissors is going to be able to cut through it at some point. Just make sure you avoid your phone. So how did it feel? Um, what was it like not having your phone at a gig? Um, it was quite liberating to be honest. It was quite nice that you didn't have to try and look past people who were holding phones up in front of you. You didn't have people text messaging next to you or WhatsApping or Snapchatting pictures of themselves, pretending to enjoy themselves when really they weren't even taking any notice of what was on the stage. You actually spoke to the person who you went with. You saw a lot of people chatting amongst themselves a lot more. So a lot of people getting a lot more drunk than they perhaps normally would. Maybe it was a boredom thing, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I'm number one culprit for using my phone at a gig usually, you know, and I enjoy capturing the moment. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Do you think they're a good idea? Do you think they're going to catch on? If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. All you kids, don't click the dislike button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The videos aren't always about this sort of thing. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you on these yonder phone cases.